So, guys, I got two really funny fucking stories from you for you for <laughs> for this episode. I got two really fucking hilarious stories. Um, one of them happened yesterday. The other one happened today. Yeah, my mic's on. Okay. One happened yesterday, so, uh, yesterday was obviously the, uh, start of the uh, NFL season, which I don't have Madden yet, and I'm not paying $60 for it, even when it's marked down for a PS5 version, I'm not buying it for 70 bucks, especially when it's the same game every year, I'm not buying it. Um, but, uh, yesterday was the home opener, I'm a Bills fan, so uh, yesterday was a home opener for the Buffalo Bills. My dad and I were going to go to the game, and, uh, <laughs> this is, this is hilarious. Um, I, I found it quite funny, but my dad was really fucking angry about this. Um, because, uh, like two weeks ago was the final preseason game of the year, so my grandfather and I were going to go to that game, but we ended up not going because, uh, it was kids day and uh, you know kids they're not allowed to be vaccinated yet for the vaccine or for the virus that's going around right now so uh we decided not to go i mean we were like halfway there and then we realized then my like my grandfather and i just wanted to go so we can grab something to eat and watch a couple plays and then go all and we were just gonna do that he forgot his wallet. My grandfather forgot his wallet, so uh, we ended up not going to that game. This was like three weeks ago, I think. And uh, th th this actually is a part of the main story. I'm gonna tell you, it's it, it's it's really fucking weird. It's one of the strangest things. Who the hell's talking? Oh, you know, I'm gonna pause real quick. I'm just going to talk through this before I, but, uh, what was I saying, uh, grandfather and I went, just didn't go, oh yeah, um, so, two weeks later, or, yeah, two weeks later is week one of the NFL season, because they added the seventh, all right, you get it, um, <laughs> so, uh, my dad and I were on the way to the game, uh, there's a shit, I literally could have taken a picture of this and showed it to you, but I mean, there was a shit ton of people at the gates of the stadium. My dad and I both wearing a mask. I saw like a total of five people, including me and my dad, wearing our masks. Because we realized this is a bad idea going to the game during a pandemic, when probably a lot of them aren't vaccinated. I'm saying a lot. I don't know. They probably are. Actually, you probably can't go if you're not vaccinated. Never mind. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, we, we get there. I kid you not, we're standing in line for like 45 minutes to an hour. We get to the gate, then we get through the metal detectors because, uh, you know, America in the last 20 years is fucked up. But uh, we go through the metal detectors, then we have to... Scan our ticket to get in the state, get into the stadium, watch the game. We get there, and the and the guy with the scanner scans our tickets, and they say invalid ticket. So he scans them like five more times. Every time it's coming up, invalid ticket. Okay, so my dad and I were like, "What the fuck is going on? What do you mean invalid ticket? This is a season ticket. My grandfather is a season ticket holder, so." We're, we're both standing around like, what the fuck do you mean invalid? And then somebody, I think that works for the box office there, comes over to us. And he he reads our ticket seats and uh, realizes that somebody else already came in with that ticket. Which, I don't know how the fuck that happened, but... I don't know. I don't know how that happened. So... Then the, this is about the time when my dad gets obviously fucking annoyed. And uh, the guy keeps telling him, like, uh, 
you're, well, you're going to have to go talk to somebody at the box office. And uh, my dad's like, they're not my tickets. <laughs> I can't do that. They're, they're my grandfather's name. He can't do that. And my grandfather is in the hospital. He probably came home today. I don't know. He probably did. He probably came home today, so that's good news. Like, like yesterday, he said he was coming home today, so nothing bad. He said he had renal kidney failure because his doctors, I don't know, try to scare people that don't talk. But uh, he, he's got nothing, so other than pre-existing stuff. So, um, but uh, that doesn't matter. So uh, he 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 couldn't. He couldn't go, so uh, go to the game because he was in the hospital. But uh, that doesn't matter. But uh, ultimately, my dad and I just ended up leaving in, like, one of the fastest times I think we've ever left to see you. <laughs> I, like, we were, out, we were out of there and back home in, like, maybe five minutes. And it usually takes us, like, 10, 15 to actually get home. And we walk to the stadium with my grandfather actually lives like maybe like he lives like right next to the stadium. Like not literally, you bunch of fucking idiots. But I mean like he lives next to the stadium, so But I mean and here's a here's a different story that happened this one happened today at school and it's I, I kid you not, maybe the funniest thing to ever I've ever heard in my life. I know I say that about everything, but this might be one of the funniest things ever. So I'm in math class. I take a different math class than a lot of high schoolers do. High schoolers take like uh, excuse me, my freshman year I took fundamentals of algebra, then my sophomore year I took algebra. And then you probably think, oh, you're in uh, uh, geometry now. I'm like, nope, I'm not in geometry. I don't take geometry this year. I'm taking consumer math, which if you think, uh, if you think about it, is maybe one of the best math classes to take because you're not learning bullshit and spewing it out on a table and thinking to yourself, when the fuck am I going to use this? My dad actually told me the only person that's going to use the Pythagorean theorem is a fucking carpenter. I'm like, who wants to be a carpenter? Come on. <laughs> like, who wants to be a carpenter? Nobody. Leave a like if you want to be a carpenter. Leave a like if you are a carpenter, and I feel bad for saying that. Anyways, uh, but uh, in math class today, we were talking about, like, uh, low-income, medium-income, high-income jobs. And, uh, you know, low-income would be, like, a retail worker, something I'm going to have to be soon because, well, I don't have to get a job, but I want to get one eventually. But uh, retail workers, um, fast food employees, those would be low-income jobs. Like, medium-income jobs would be, like, uh, teacher stuff like that, you know, doesn't make that much, but makes some money, makes more than 10000 a year, and then high income being like Mark Zuckerberg, or uh, let's go with Patrick Mahomes, or Josh Allen, or whatever, or, uh, I don't know, any surgeons, okay, a doctor, whatever, but uh, this kid that I'm going to call Joe for this video, I don't know, Joe was the first name that came to my head. Uh, this is hilarious, by the way, and may have been one of my best reactions to anything. And I would just, it's so stupid. I mean, this kid is notorious for not being the brightest light bulb ever, not the sharpest bowling ball, but... Uh, <laughs> but, uh, so we're talking about, uh... High income jobs. This kid says um, a name of a hospital. Since uh, the name of the stadium is Highmark Stadium, let's go with uh, Highmark. And uh, and uh, the teacher. We had a sub today, which made it like even funnier. Which <laughs> this is so dumb. I can't even say it. It's so dumb. Uh, teacher's like, is that a person's name? And he's like, no, it's the, the people that work there. 
Okay, so uh, the teacher then says, uh, okay, so you mean like uh, the janitor that's mopping the floor, and then the kid, Joe, says uh, something like, uh, no, the guy that attends the patients, and the teacher's like, okay, what do we call those people? Uh, they uh, The name starts with a D. He says, my mom. <laughs> Joe says, my mom. And I kid you not, I was the first one to react, and I broke down laughing. I I probably haven't laughed harder than that in like a year. <laughs> That's how funny it was. Like when he said, "My mom," <laughs> I'm still laughing about it. And that happened like hours ago. That was so funny. Anybody that liked that, please do leave a like, and I'll tell Joe how much he liked it. It's not his actual name, but still. All right, into the actual part of the video where I'm going to be playing the game, also known as the gameplay part of the video, if you didn't know that. Sorry about that. What do you want? I'll just strike you right now. Never mind. <laughs> you said sound about you found me, Samurai! Fuck off, what do you want? Straw hats are cowardly traitors. You all deserve death. And Samurai are spoiled hypocrites who steal glory from real warriors like me. I'll prove it. Come on then. How do you know I'm a samurai and not a Ronin like you? Duel in the Drowning Marsh. Oh, what a name. <laughs> I hate these load-in scenes to duels. They're just so one repetitive, too. I've seen it before. I know what happens. I got a brand new Switch game that I'm gonna start playing. You made you soft. Then why are you out of breath? This guy is tough. Oh, I dodged. Ow, okay, that was unexpected. Hey! Okay. I don't know why we just fought, but uh, okay then. Honestly, I'm just gonna go ahead and. Where's my horse? Oh, there you are. <laughs> it's always the white horses that are the weirdest. They're like the huskies of the the horse kind, or maybe the golden retrievers. But uh, well, at least well, no, that's right. No. Horses are at least loyal, but they're not the smartest creatures ever. What do you want? You want to die? Okay, cool. I'll kill you. Look, I kill the Mongols for fun. Not literally, you numb nuts. What is that squeaking noise? Oh, it's just two of you. Well, oh, that was a waste of my time. All right, how you doing? Oh yeah, this is Unbreakable Gosaku, which I didn't do the. Uh... Oh, Mongol Terror. Okay, I didn't do the story for this one, and there was another one. It was like the Six Blades of Kojiro or whatever it was called. I didn't do the assassinate three enemies from above without being seen. That sounds kind of difficult. Three of them, though. Actually, that doesn't really sound that bad. Now that I think about it. Hey, you don't see me. You don't see me. You know you don't. I don't know what you're seeing, but it's definitely not me. 
All right, it's not. All right. Wait, can I type rope? Holy shit, I can type rope. You don't see this, huh? You don't see this? Okay. I honestly don't think it matters. It's just a bonus. It's not gonna be a bad thing if I kill him or if I get seen. That was a hell of. I hate these dogs. So annoying. Ow. That's it? Still. Turn the volume up here. The best day of my life. My life. Go. And stay safe. Oh, there's four hostages. Okay. Well, I don't care if I'm seen. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Hey, I said get out of the way. You really want to go? Wait a minute, I got a wind chime here, shouldn't I? Yeah, I do. I can deal with him one by one. There's no other way. Uh, here. That's actually a cool strategy. I'm okay. Character I gotta find. Of course, she's over here. Uh, hell. Ow. No, not him. Of Gosaku, my lord, as a sign of our gratitude. 
Take this key to his armor. Oh, thank you. Defense of the people of Tsushima. A key of Ijima. I think that's how it's pronounced. It. One of six keys said to lead to Gosaku's armor, gifted by the farmers of Ijima Farmstead. You know, I think I'm gonna do another one or a different one. So I wanted to do this. Oh, wait, that. Oh, wait a minute. I have more tales of Tsushima. Oh, I didn't realize that. All right. Well, you know. Trophy earned, good riddance. Okay. Oh, now Ijima Farmstead is uh, reclaimed, so. I could probably do this off screen, but I'm gonna leave this one in. I'm gonna actually upload this one because it's funny. The story to me was just funny. Alright. Next farmstead is 3.6 kilometers away. So, uh, I feel like I'm going to stop playing this for right now, but, uh, I'll definitely keep, uh, keep going with this. I might just do these two off screen. So, well, I guess that's going to be it for now, guys. All right. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do hit that like button, bell button share button and subscribe button i'll see you next time have a fantastic day bye bye